So if you've ever seen my channel before, you might know I'm a big fan of WPL. Here I've got my WPL C24 from my painting tutorial. And over here I've got my WPL D12, which at the moment has these 3D printed drift wheels on and I'm trying to turn it into a bit of a drift car. But we're not here to talk about those today. We're here to talk about WPL's latest D-series, so let's not waste any more time. So here they are, the two latest trucks from WPL, the D32 and the D22. Now, some people might already know about WPL's last D-series, the D12, which I've got here, and the D42, which I don't have. The D12 was supposed to be a Suzuki Carry K truck, although it was never officially licensed, like most WPLs. The D42 was, as far as I know, WPL's first officially licensed truck, which was a Tianjin Dafa Taxi, a very popular version of the Daihatsu Hijet produced under license here in China. Well, this time WPL are back with two more licensed Tianjin Dafas. We've got one that has a similar layout to the D12, and we've got this strange looking one here where the bed's shorter to incorporate a crew cap. So if you've had a D12 or a D42 before, you'll be no stranger to the design. It's pretty much the exact same truck underneath the body, with some key differences, which I will go over later. So let's have a look around the car. I really love these scale looks. There's working lights at the front, and those are always on, but they look pretty cool. I'm really glad they decided to go with this vintage yellow, instead of that horrible blue modern white that a lot of LEDs seem to be using these days. So here's what you get in the box. You're going to get a controller. There isn't much to say about these. They're very basic, but functional. Dual electronic throttle rate and dual steering rates too. And just take a look at this steering angle. It's massive. You can see why some people like to drift these. You're also going to get some stickers, a small screwdriver, this 2SL iron battery and a USB charger. I really prefer these packs with the separate balance lead because it means I can charge them on my smart charger. If you look at the one that came with the C24, they integrate everything into this four pin plug, which is compatible with nothing and you're stuck using the USB charger. I always find the lights on the WPLs a little bit weird. They make them out of clear plastic instead of orange plastic but then they give you stickers to put under the plastic to make them the correct color. I'm not exactly sure why they do that. Right, let's take the body off and have a look. So here's the integrated RX and ESC. You've got independent front suspension with a torsion bar and it's got some really good flex in there. You've also got bearings all around, which is great to see on a car at this price point. And at the back, you've got a solid axle on leaf springs. So the motor is a 260 that I think is perfectly fine for this application. Right, let's get the body back on and we'll see what it's like outside. Hi, it's me from the future. I just needed to cut in here as I found some key differences between the chassis of the D22, the D32 and the D12. The D32 body will not fit on the D22 chassis due to the screw holes not lining up. The D32 body, however, will fit on the D12 chassis and everything lines up. So you might notice the D22 and the D12 beds are exactly the same size. But if you attempt to put the D22 bed on the D12, you're going to have this gap here. This is because the screw holes aren't exactly in the same place. Right, so here we are on location. Hope the wind noise is not too much. And we've got our cars here, the D32 and the D22. I only bought one controller because you can buy them both to a single controller. Batteries just go in here. So we'll get that one in there. And off we go. It's 
So right now it's on the slowest speed. I'll just knock it up to the fastest speed. There we go, that's on full speed. So I have had these over a week, but I'm only just getting around to uploading the video. If you did want a reason to subscribe, there's one of them. Since I live in China, I get everything a lot earlier than everyone else. But I'm not sure if these have even reached the West yet. I know they were selling them um, about a week ago on the official store, but I'm not sure if any have arrived in the West yet. Right, so let's try and get a full speed run. Right, there we go, 12 kilometers per hour. So let's get the battery in the other one and we'll see if that one's any faster. Right, here we go, here's our D22. Right, so let's see how fast it'll go. And back again. Up. And we've got exactly the same again, 12 kilometers per hour. So it looks like they both weigh about the same. Well, it certainly looks very nice in scale. Right, I think that's enough for our outdoor test, so let's go back to the studio. So in conclusion, what do I think is good and what do I think is bad? Good, you've got those scale looks and the cheap price, lots of steering angle and fully adjustable links. I think these are gonna make good drift trucks just like the D12 and the D42. Bad, not much. Would make more sense if the battery connector was a JST or an XT30, but I'd really be nitpicking there. So, which one do you like best, the D32 or the D22? Pop your answer down in the comments. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found this review useful. See you next time, and as always, stay charged.